Today is a very sad day because I decided that I'm going to go through my CD collection and see what I can get rid of because I have a lot of CDs here and they're just kind of sitting here and not doing anything. I don't remember the last time I've ever actually used any of these, but um, before we get to that, a uh, couple things. Uh, first of all, sorry I haven't posted on this channel in a very long time. Um, this channel is not dead, just kind of on a bit of a hiatus. Um, <clears throat> I do have other videos planned, but um, not not yet. I have to make time for them. Uh, also, I'm kind of, I don't know how well this video is going to look or sound. Um, I've rigged my microphone in a weird way on my camera so that people can hear me and not get echo off the wall. I also did my best to light this up as best I can because um, it's going to get kind of dark down there. Also, this is going to be a very long video, so uh, hope you're in for that. Uh, I know I did a video a while back where I looked at some mixed CDs that I made way back in the day and uh, people seem to be interested in that so maybe people will be interested in this as well and since I am getting rid of my collection here I figure it'd be a good idea to maybe record for posterity <clears throat> anyway so this is my CD collection um, I a lot of these are from you know way back when I used to actually buy CDs some of them are from you know uh, like thrift store finds just like interesting stuff and some of it's just for collector's value i don't know if cds have any like resell value like i don't know if there are many well i'm sure there are cd collectors out there but i don't know i don't really know what's like worth anything so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through these one by one gonna be a while again this is gonna be a long video i may have to take a break halfway through or something uh and i'm gonna be putting them in this box right here or at least this box lid uh, i'm going to be giving them to a place uh down in uh, i think it's hollywood florida it's called cd trader down way down in south florida here um i give them a little shout out because i like shouting out places like that because they're kind of cool and they have a lot of stuff there and uh, i'm gonna give it to them in the hopes that some of this will find uh, some good homes hopefully but anyway let's get started here uh so we're gonna start with the top now, uh, this is all compilations and soundtracks. I've always loved, uh, well, I used to love getting, like, compilation CDs, and uh, I have, like, kind of an obsession with movie soundtracks. Um, I, I don't know why. I think it's just be, just for the sake of variety. I kind of love them. Um, and a lot of this I will be keeping just because it has some kind of value to me, but uh, we'll go see. I might have to, I might have to construct a, a maybe pile and we'll have to wait and see. I'll, I'll reevaluate some of this on my own time. Anyway, so um, over here we have the World Wrestling Federation uh, Music Collection. Um, this is Volume 2. Unfortunately, I don't have Volume 1. Um, <clears throat> this was basically the uh, theme songs to a lot of the wrestlers, sort of. This one in particular is not very good because some of these themes are they're not the same as they're not the same they're like a little bit different plus a lot of them have the wrestlers like talking over it and stuff so that one's not very good i gotta get volume one at some point um i think after that they kind of learned their lesson whoa i don't want to drop this just yet um i think i kind of learned their lesson and they started putting them out as they should be you know just you know how you heard them in the uh <clears throat> in the you know wrestling shows um so let's see what it, this is uh volume five this one sometimes they would include you know original stuff on there like this one had something from the rock and uh they had a couple of their own albums let me get back in there <laughs> this uh this cd rack here by the way my neighbor threw this out like a couple, like way, like years and years ago. Uh, I'm pretty sure that neighbor is not even around here anymore. But uh, yeah, I just saw it sitting on there. <laughs> I was out for a jog and I saw it sitting on their trash. And I'm like, this is still in good condition. I can use this. So uh, then we have the Tough Enough soundtrack. This is, I think, for season two of Tough Enough. And they got a bunch of stuff from the time there. Alien Ant Form, uh, Alien Ant Form, Alien Ant Farm, Papa Roach, Godsmack, Disturb, Deftones, Drowning Pool, you know, all the... Uh, early to mid 2000s hits right there 
Uh, Drowning Pool Bodies. That's a classic. What year was this? This was two, 2001. Let's see if we can get a... Yep, there you go. A lot of these are kind of neat little time capsules. Uh, we have Forcible Entry. I believe this is... Um, this is when they got like a bunch of actual artists to do theme songs. I think some of these are even still used to this day. Or for, you know, whatever... Um, <clears throat> Whatever wrestlers use these. Uh, he had Drowning Pool, Kid Rock, Creed, Disturbed, Limp Biscuit. You know, again, all the all the um, standards of the time. Uh, Limp Biscuit, Rolling Dead Man, The Undertaker's theme. That's uh, for Biker Taker. Uh, for Kid Rock did Legs for Stacy Keebler. Drowning Pool did the game. I don't think some of these weren't that great, and uh, I think some some are still used, but I'm not entirely sure. But then we get to the WWF original. Oh wait, this is WWE. This is when they they converted. Uh, so this is like songs done by the wrestlers. You got uh, Stone Cold. Uh, Stone Cold didn't actually sing on this. I think he just had segments, like weird segments in between. And um, yeah, uh, I don't remember these being that good, <laughs> uh, with the exception of maybe Chris Jericho because. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Chris Jericho actually has a band called Fozzy, and I have a I have a CD of theirs. It's uh, we're gonna get to that at some point when we get to the F's. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we're gonna get into some weird stuff here. So this was uh, Slam and Wrestling Hits Arena Entrance Themes. This is a bootleg. Well, well I bought this in an actual you know music store, but this is like uh, some company like produced this and sold it as if it was a real thing and the you can if you listen to this you can actually tell that these are not the same theme songs as the ones they showed on tv and here is another one i have uh world of wrestling rocks this is pretty much the same thing it's just more you know uh, some some like actual well not actual songs none of these are done by the actual artists as you can see here like they have Freak on a Leash. That's supposed to be Corn. I'm pretty sure this is Corn is not on this album. Uh, Power Trap. I believe that was Monster Magnet. Um, these are kind of God of Thunder. That's Kiss. This is def Kiss is definitely not on this album. I, can, I think you could tell because they don't show the artists. It's just the titles of the songs. Cowboys from Hell. Oh my God. Um, yeah, this is kind of this, this was like unofficial. This is like some some. Someone was like, we can make money off of wrestling because that's popular now. Let's put out a CD. 23 Bone Crushing Bouts. Uh, yes, I, I seriously doubt that. Uh, speaking of which, here's ECW Extreme Music. Now, ECW is kind of interesting because the ECW shows, they used actual actual music, like licensed music. Like the Sandman here used Enter Sandman by Metallica. Um Rob Van Dam used Walk by Pantera. Um, a couple of other ones. Uh, uh, Balls Mahoney used Big Balls by ACDC. Uh, and from what I understand, they used them at their shows without permission. And they did this for years, apparently. So uh, I don't know uh, if they got any repercussions from that. But then they put out an album with the uh, songs. But these are all covers. Or I think... I think these are all covers. Some of them might not be, but you have uh, Motorhead uh, doing Enter Sandman, which is kind of interesting. Um, Monster Magnet, that, Kick Out the Jams, yeah, they did that one. Um, Hookah Blues, that's uh, that's Sabu's theme song. Uh, Musk Muscadine did Big Balls. That's supposed to be an ACDC song. Uh, the one that was kind of disappointing was Kilgore covered Pantera's Walk. And it does not sound the same. It does not sound as good. Uh, interesting, though, they actually have a music video for that. And it has all the ECW wrestlers in it. And I, I saw it on TV years ago, and I couldn't find it anymore. But I found it on YouTube. So if you're interested in looking that up, uh, feel free to do that. I do love that cover art, though. <laughs> the Sandman. It, this pretty much encapsulates what Sandman was all about right here. All he's missing is a, a, a beer can. Although maybe he's uh, already smashed it on his head because he's bleeding. Um, so, yeah, these are all the wrestling albums. I am going to keep these because they, they do have a little bit of sentimental value to me. 
So uh, we're going to move on from those. This is MTV's Return of the Rock. I don't know where the rock went, but we found them. So here they are. Uh, again, I love the cover art. Can't imagine why, but um, this was just a uh, you know, compilation of stuff that was really popular at the time. Uh, you know, Kid Rock, Slipknot, P.O.D., Stain, System of a Down. Um, yeah, again, I did really love uh, compilations. Uh, I don't know if the, like I said, I don't know how many of these CDs have any like actual value to them. So uh, I'm... I don't know if I want to get rid of this. I'm going to put this uh, over here by the PlayStation. I'm going to make like a, a maybe pile for these. I'm going to maybe look these up. And if they don't have any value, I'll probably get rid of them. Return of the Rock Volume 2. Again, uh, really nice cover art. Oh, look at that. I, I, I don't think I ever noticed that. The, the, the devil lady on the first one is a tattoo on this girl. Wow. That's meta. All right. Well, uh, let's have a look and see what's on this one here. Um, Limp Biscuit, Papa Roach, Spine Shank, Disturbed. Uh, yeah, again, very, very much the same stuff. I think these were released maybe a year apart or something like that. But um, yeah, they, they're all right. I, I do remember listening to these quite a bit. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look these up and see if they're they have any value. So now we move on to this one, Buzz Ballads. I believe I saw this in a TV commercial. Um, another compilation CD, uh, it's been a while by stained. Oh God. It's, uh, that song, uh, I have kind of a hatred of that song cause they would play it constantly. Uh, live third eye blind, uh, fuel Bush tonic counting crows Lifehouse. Other than that, it's not, not that bad of a collection. They got, uh, Eve six here's to the night. Uh, I actually like that one better than inside out. Honestly, the inside out is like their big hit but um vertical horizon cranberries there's some good stuff on here at uh linger by cranberries everlast what it's like better than ezra um i uh hmm as yeah yeah there it is as seen on tv apparently this was from a commercial uh i'm gonna again i'm gonna take some of these and put them in the maybe pile i think these uh these kind of again i'm just gonna look some of these up some of these are some of these are staying some of them are going so we moved on from buzz ballads to the buzz uh interestingly enough here in south florida there used to be a radio station called the buzz but they kind of got booted out when digital took over I, I think they're still around probably on digital but i'm not sure um yeah more of the same uh got sublime rem 311 third eye blind i think this was um before like i figured out how to make my own cds or uh before i got like an mp3 player or something i uh eh. again i'm gonna put it here <clears throat> so now we have power ballads Ooh, uh what's interesting is it feels like if you fuse these two discs together you create that one <clears throat> actually i'm gonna pause for a second i need some water okay i'm back so power ballads what was on here um bad english night rider damn yankees uh 38 special so this is like uh yeah it's some some decent stuff on here scorpion still loving you uh kingdom come they have like you know the big hits like sister christian and then you have like the scorpions, but, um, well, I guess it's ballad. So they wouldn't have their, you know, big hits, uh, Mr. Big and, uh, yeah, not, not a lot on here. 10 tracks. Uh, did I order this off CD, uh, or TV as well? Probably not. Again, I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. Uh, we shall reevaluate later. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, only nineties kids will recognize this. So this is pure moods. <laughs> this is kind of an interesting specimen of a CD. Uh, this was also advertised on TV a lot. Um, it's got like a got like a weird collection of stuff on here. There's Enigma, Return to Innocence, um, some interesting things. They have like, like the X Files theme, and then there's uh, 
one where is it does it show on here theme from the mission there's uh the theme to the exorcist is on here i don't remember wh what it's called sadness uh theme from uh the last emperor wishes happiness prosperity walk with me the from uh, theme from twin peaks too they have the uh the, where was it Oxygen part? No, 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 I don't remember. Uh, tubular. Be I think that's it. Mike, Mike Oldfield. I think that's the one right there. This is a very bizarre thing. I think I don't know like where this came from or like like who like who put who put this collection together. This is interesting. You don't even have you don't even. Oh, there, there it is, right there. So this is from uh 1994. <laughs> Uh, 1996 right virgin records I don't, I don't know what the what the logic was behind this i guess they wanted to maybe market to the new age crowd or something but uh yeah um i might keep this just just for the the sake of the 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 fact that it's kind of a relic <laughs> all right next one we have straight up this is a tribute album to a guy from uh, the the band Snot, James Strait, who died in 1998, um, and it had a whole bunch of different uh, artists at the time doing, you know, tribute songs. Uh, this feels like something that might have a little bit of value, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't know why I bought this. I, again, I think it's because I used to love compilation albums, but. I, I don't really have that much attachment to snot as a band. Um, it is very sad, you know, what happened to the guy, but uh, I don't know. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. I'm going to go ahead and look that up when I get a chance. All right, so I believe that's it for compilations. Now we're going to move on to the soundtracks. Beavis and Butthead do America. This is a great underrated soundtrack. You got, um, you got Isaac Hayes. You got Red Hot Chili Peppers, LL Cool J, White Zombie, um, Ozzy Osbourne's on there. No doubt. This, this is a really, really good soundtrack. And uh, the movie is really funny as well. Um, yeah, I, I really I really like this. This is probably going to stay because it's got some, you know, a little bit of value to me. We have uh, Chef Aid, the South Park album. I believe this is their first album they put out. And this was from the episode where Chef got in trouble for because he created a song and then the company sued him and something like that. I don't remember the exact details, but uh, they had a whole bunch of artists on the episode and they put out an album to uh, coincide with it. And you have the likes of Primus who did the South Park theme. Um, you have Chef uh, Isaac Hayes, of course, voice chef. Rancid, uh, Eric Cartman did an episode. Master P, you have Chef again, um... So, uh, System of a Dat. Wow, performed by Mace, Puffy, Little Kim, and System of a Dat. Okay, I, okay, I'm remembering this now. This has some weird, like, collaborations on here. Okay, this one right here, Nowhere to Run, performed by Ozzy Osbourne, DMX, Old Dirty Bastard, and Crystal Method. Wow, that is a that is a hell of a power team right there. Um, some other really cool stuff on there as well. Just do a quick pan over so people can see it. Uh, Ween Meatloaf is on here. Is Primus again? Um, Ned Gerblansky. Hmm. Uh, Rick Rick James and Ike Turner. Holy crap! <laughs> Devo. Yeah, this is again. This is a, another really cool album. I remember listening to this quite a bit. So uh, yeah, that's that's definitely staying. Let's put that in. Uh, ah, crap. Put it in there. Come on, get in there. Okay, cool. All right, next up, Daredevil. Oh, God, everyone's favorite movie. Um, I think of some of the bad superhero movies. This one might be one of the lesser bad ones because there's a lot about it I kind of liked. Um, the soundtrack is pretty good. Um, you got, oh, God, Nickelback. Learn the hard way. Oh, geez. Drowning Pool and Rob Zombie. Wow, that's a neat little thing. Uh, Nappy Roots... Makos Curiel, I don't know who that, P-O-D, there's Evanescence, I believe this is like the, 
this is where that song debuted, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it came out before. I don't know. I know. I think that's the first time I heard it. Uh, you got My Immortal by Evan, Evanescence is on here twice. Oh, you spoil us, Daredevil, the album. Um, yeah, you know what? I think this one can go. Uh, I don't really see myself holding on to this or uh, listening to this anytime soon. So first one in the box. All right. I tell you what is definitely not going. <laughs> Ghostbusters, the soundtrack. This is original from 1984 i found this at a salvation army <laughs> for like a buck oh this was quite a fine i found i think i found something else that day oh no no i found that the, the one i'm thinking of somewhere else so yeah this is the soundtrack to ghostbusters uh i got the ghostbusters theme cleaning up the town saving the day uh but all these songs you uh, got ghostbusters an instrumental theme um, I think one of these songs does not appear in the movie or do, is not played in the movie for some reason, or maybe it's like during the credits or something. I don't know, but I know one of these songs is just not in the movie for some reason, but, uh, yeah, this was a, this was a really, really cool find to just, just randomly pick up at a thrift store. So yeah, Ghostbusters, the soundtrack, that one is definitely staying so next up we uh, might as well i might as well do these two at the same time just to help save time awesome mix volume one and volume two from guardians of the galaxy i think a lot of people are familiar with these by now uh, i'm curious to see if they'll make another one for the third movie that they're planning but who knows um i think these are going to stay as well because i do like these compilations and the guardians of the galaxy films are some of my favorites of the mcu so we're going to hold on to those matrix reloaded the album i don't know why i have this uh, although this is kind of interesting because there's two discs in here uh you got disc one with like um you know actual artists and then you got disc two which i believe is instrumental so this is like the score of the movie as opposed to uh the soundtrack so you got uh, some some decent stuff on here marilyn manson rob zombie deftones um yeah um dave matthews band oh my gosh what are you doing in here <laughs> um yeah matrix reloaded i think that one can go there you go you go sit with daredevil all right next up we have mega man the, the animated series the soundtrack so uh the mega man the 90s mega man cartoon let's put uh Let's put that right there next to actual Mega Man. <laughs> I actually do I enjoy this show quite a bit. It's uh, it when it's good, it's pretty good. When it's not, it's hilarious and weird. Um, so apparently, and I never knew this, they put out an album with like actual artists, like um, uh, who is on here? Like uh, oh oh, here we go. Uh, Sugar Ray, Skid Row. Man, some bunch of other stuff I've never even heard of. Mr. Big is on there. Um, for uh, From what I understand, they played... I never knew this, but apparently they played the the songs off of this and like during like commercial breaks or for like the end credits or something, but I've never in my life heard them. And I mentioned, I mentioned this in my uh, video about my review of the Mega Man cartoon on the main channel. So uh, it's kind of an interesting time capsule of uh 90s rock so i think that'll stay and you know what i'm gonna leave that right there <laughs> so uh little mega man can see what his buff older uh, 90s bro was uh was up to men in black the album ah yes we have uh the men in black theme song one of the best movie theme songs ever um and a bunch of other stuff just cruising another will smith uh, song i uh, got some danny elfman on there so that's pretty cool um i love this movie i think the soundtrack is really good or at least the uh you know the theme song is one of the best uh i don't think i'm gonna hold on to this one this is uh yeah if i want to listen to the men in black theme song i'll just go to youtube okay here's another interesting one <laughs> mighty morphin power rangers the tv themes and sound bites 
So, oh boy, there's a lot on here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pause on here. We're not going to go through all this. So, interesting story behind this one and why I have it. Um, in the 90s, during the rise of popularity of Power Rangers, uh, we were living in New York, and Power Rangers had a Broadway show, or a, a, a like Radio City Music Hall, not, not Broadway, some somewhere. They had a show, they had a live show, that's all that matters. So, my mom knew I kind of liked Power Rangers, and she called into a radio station for a contest, and she won tickets to it. And you got we got to go backstage and uh, have a little party with some of the other winners and stuff. It was me and my mom and my cousin, and uh, we met you know some of the Power Rangers, uh, not well, not the actual ones from the show from the from the uh, you know the the live show, not the TV show. And they gave us a little gift bag with stuff in it, and this was one of the things that I got from it. So that's pretty neat, and it's, it's it's got a lot on here for a CD. Wow. Um, so yeah, I think this one's gonna stay, just because it has uh, it it has sentimental value to me. Uh, Mission Impossible, the soundtrack. Uh, is this the one with the Metallica song, or is that the second one? Uh, theme of Mission Impossible, uh, Pulp, Dan, Danny Elfman again, Bjork. Bjork is on here for some reason uh no i think i think i think um the metallica one was the second one i don't know why i have this so uh in the box all right here we go now we're getting to some good stuff mortal kombat the soundtrack one of the best movie soundtracks ever got so much so much like 90s hard rock and punk on here it's so good and you got like the techno themes where they played during all the fights and everything. <clears throat> Not much else to say about it. It's awesome. It's one of the best soundtracks ever. That's staying. The Punisher, the first movie, the one with Tom Jane, the uh, the the good Punisher, actually. Although some people like to debate the uh, the later ones. Um, this is another like really pretty good soundtrack. Not maybe not really good, but uh, you got you know, again some of the, some of the standards for the time: Drowning Pool, Puddle of Mud before they they butchered nirvana <laughs> look that up um yeah, nickelback again nickelback was freaking everywhere at the time yeah again um it's not it's again not a bad album although uh where where is it hold on let me look at this real quick okay there it is uh okay finger 11 slow chemical going back to to wrestling that is the theme that's kane's theme song or at least, uh, you know, a version of it. Uh, it might, it might be on. Uh, is it on forcible entry? I don't remember. Uh, I don't see it. Uh, hold on one second. Finger, it was finger eleven. Huh. I don't see it on here. Hmm. Unless I'm blind. But uh, no. I guess not. Well, uh, the point is, for some reason, Kane, uh, the wrestler Kane's theme song is on this album. I don't know why, but uh, other than that, yeah, yeah, a Punisher can go. There you go. Sit with, go talk to Daredevil and discuss how your movies are kind of forgotten now. Resident Evil, the first movie. Um, this one, uh, honestly, I kind of like this movie. Uh, the rest of them kind of suck, but again, you got some. Really cool stuff on here. Slipknot, Marilyn Manson, Cold Chamber, Crystal Method, Edema, Fear Factory, Static X, Ra Rammstein, Depeche Mode, <laughs> amongst all the, the rock music. Um, yeah, Again, it's not a bad soundtrack, but I don't see myself holding on to this. So, in the box. This, however, Saturday Morning's Greatest Hits. Saturday Morning Cartoon's Greatest Hits. I always get the title this confused uh this was a very old episode of cartoon clip show back on the uh main channel um these are basically just covers of famous cartoons and other saturday morning shows done by you know actual artists you got uh semi-sonic sponge uh, matthew sweet butthole surfers the ramones friggin i friggin love the ramones spider-man and helmets gigantor so th those are really good and a bunch of others, some of them well-known, others not. Uh, interestingly enough, the album has, uh, where is it, where is it? Uh, 
Johnny Quest. Uh, just hold on. Let me look at. It. Well, looking through the viewfinder. This one had. Oh yeah, here it is. Dig the Fat Albert theme, which is not part of the uh, the TV special. This is exclusive to the album. So, yeah, I think it's safe to say that can stay. I like the cover art for this as well. Very, uh, very weird. Very 90s. So, you go back on. And we shall move along to Scream 3, the album. Why, again, this is one of those, like, why do I have this? Um, again, not, it doesn't look like a bad album. Uh, you have Slipknot, Finger 11, System of a Down, Seven Dust, Godsmack, uh, Cold Chamber, Incubus, and all sandwiched between two Creed songs. Wow. What if, what if, ah. And then, uh. This is the end at the end. Cool. Um, I like the uh, the th the 3D cover though, the hologram cover. That's nice. Uh, yeah, you're gonna go. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we're almost done with the soundtracks. Boy, this is gonna take forever. I might. Uh oh, this one's. Oh no, the Star Wars one is stuck in there. Okay. Well, Star Wars: The Force Awakens soundtrack. Back when uh, we were all optimistic about the disney star wars movies and i will say that i do like the force awakens but uh i don't know i never even opened this i just kind of impulsively bought it because it's star wars i'm gonna put that in the maybe pile we'll see if that has any value ah uh, here we go all right tron legacy the soundtrack which is basically just a daft punk album um this is like uh, something they started doing with CDs toward like the end of CDs. I, although I think they still make CDs and everything where they, instead of having, you know, a clamshell, they have, um, or a jewel case rather, they would do this. Um, I do like this movie. I do like the soundtrack. I think this one's going to stay. So let's put that in there. It does the, uh, the new design does make it hard to slide it in. And finally for the soundtracks, the Simpsons Sing the Blues. This was a Simpsons album. It came out um, uh, not long after the Bartman got got popular. And uh, there's a, there was another Bart song. I think it was called Trouble or something like that. It wasn't as popular. Uh, this also has like songs from the other members of The Simpsons, other characters from The Simpsons. Like Mr. Burns has a song on here. Uh, fun fact about this CD. Uh, I got the CD... Uh, because I traded a base, uh, baseball card for it. <laughs> oh, no, it was a basketball card. Sorry. Uh, my cousin wanted a basketball card, and she um, she had this. And she's like, here, I'll give you this for that. And I'm like, all right. And I've had it ever since. <laughs> uh, it's really cool. And that I think that's going to stay because, you know, it's The Simpsons, and it's kind of cool. And it reminds me that I got a free CD for a basketball card that's probably worth nothing. All right, so now we have a couple of overflow items here because the CD shelf is uh, a little bit packed right now. So we have, first off, Smashing Pumpkins, Melancholy, and the Infinite Sadness. This is an amazing album. I found this not too long ago at a uh, Goodwill, not a Salvation Army. Uh, this is, I think, going to stay because it's really cool. It has a lot of great songs on it, and... I like the cover art for it, so uh, we're going to put that here, here, Mega Man, hold on to that for me. So these here are anime soundtracks and game soundtracks. Let's look at the game soundtracks first. I think all of these might end up staying. So this is the soundtrack for Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo Wii U. So this was, uh, what was which one was that again? Uh Super Smash, it was just called Super Smash Brothers Wii U. Uh, I believe I got this for um, pre-ordering or something like that. So, yeah, this is like the soundtrack CD for Smash Brothers. Um, never even been opened. So, there you go. I'm going to just put that there for now. That's uh, that's going to stay. Uh, Play It Loud Original Soundtrack Volume 1 from Nintendo Power. Wow. This is very interesting. This has tracks from all these games on there I, I remember really liking this i ordered this from nintendo power uh we got yoshi's island f-zero ken griffey jr's winning run for some reason that's a baseball game 
Legend of Zelda, Super Metroid, and Star Fox. Really cool. Uh, again, love the artwork for this. Um, this is definitely staying because that's kind of a neat little relic. I'm just going to move it over there for now. We have Dragon Ball Z Best Remix 2006 and a half. What? Um, I guess this is like the Dragon Ball soundtrack. Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball. I think I bought this at a convention. I'm not really sure. Um, all right. Well, I guess that's staying. Uh, now, this is definitely staying. One of my favorite games of all time, Chrono Trigger. The original soundtrack. This, uh, so, oh, wow, they, they, that's interesting. They don't have the, the music on here, but that's okay. I think most people hopefully know what Chrono Trigger is by now. Um, this, uh, I think, where did I, I think I got this at a convention as well? I don't remember, but, uh, yeah, there it is. The Chrono Trigger soundtrack. Awesome. Now we have Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, the OST. Uh, really cool. I love the. I always love the music from Ghost in the Shell. Um, really cool. Although, honestly, I think the uh, second gig intro might be my favorite of the two, but uh, this is still pretty cool. There we go. We have Fooly Cooly, the soundtrack, which is basically just an album for the band, the the Japanese band, The Pillows is really good this this anime has some really good music in it so that's gonna stay all right now we're moving on to some weirder stuff uh i don't know why i have this uh this is panda z it's basically a parody of mazinger z with uh, little cute animals and mechs um it's one of those things where it has very short episodes um, the episodes I think are like five minutes long and the intro alone is like a minute and a half, but it's a really, it's a really cool intro. Uh, yeah, I have this, um, uh, for some reason I did, I did find this anime amusing, but I don't know why I have the soundtrack. Uh, maybe I'll, I'm going to hold on to that. Maybe I can put that on eBay. And finally, again, in the category of why do I have this, this is final fantasy unlimited. This is probably my favorite bad anime. <laughs> it is so, so awful and so riffable. And it's just, oh my God. And the, the voice acting in it is terrible, especially for the, the kids. They actually got, they actually got like actual kids to do the voices, but um, and we can't look at any of the songs because they're all in Japanese, but there they are. Um again it's it's a it's a terrible anime but i kind of love it because of it so uh if you're looking for something awful to watch there you go there's final fantasy unlimited all right well that went by pretty quick okay um we got a lot to get through here still so i'm gonna take a quick break and i'll be right back all right we're back and we're gonna go through all this um so in the intermittent time i actually went through the maybe pile and i looked up all the cds i put to the side and um yeah none of them are really worth anything uh except for the straight up album which i have there uh that does sell for a little bit and i decided to hold on to it just in case i wanted to sell it on my own or maybe i'll be too lazy for that um but anyway uh, speaking of too lazy i also got myself a thing to sit on so i'm not bent over doing this uh, this is what we call a big brain move. Uh, I was very tired just filming those last segments. I don't know why this video is very strenuous for some reason. I don't know if I'm old or what, but, uh, anyway, uh, let's go through this. I'm going to try and go through this as fast as I can. Uh, but, uh, we shall see. All right. So first off, let's check the overstock item here fastball all the pain money can buy um very underrated band in my opinion uh they were big for a while and then they kind of vanished but uh, they had these two songs right here the way and fire escape um very very catchy very cool songs um as much as i do think this is a you know a good album and uh underrated band i don't really see myself holding on to this one so uh that's going in the box all right here we go we're gonna start on the right here these are alphabetical uh, as you can see by the uh fact that this band begins with uh, a symbol not a letter this is 
Head Planet Earth, or Head P.E., uh, the album Broke. They had that one song, um, where is it off here? Uh, Bartender, number four right there. Uh, pretty catchy song. Uh, other than that, I really don't have any attachment to this band, so uh, there you go. That's going in the box. All right, I'm going to pull these two out at the same time. Three Doors Down. Oh, boy, I have both of their albums, or I assume... You know, they have more than one album. Um, so this has Kryptonite and Loser and uh, Be Like That, a bunch of other stuff. This was their first album right here. Um, I remember really liking Kryptonite. Uh, the rest is, is all right. Um, I don't know if the like, this is one of those bands you people like, like they're on the level of like Nickelback where people make fun of them and it's like, oh, you like that band or whatever. Uh, the second one, uh, was, uh, I don't remember. Mm -mm, let me get that in frame. Uh, I think they had other hits on there. I don't really remember. Um, yeah, I didn't get these when they first came out actually, but, uh, eh, I think I can do without them. All right. In the box. Greatest Hits of 311, 1993 to 2003. Oh boy, 10 years of 311. Um, 311's the, you know, another one of those really catchy bands. Uh, they, they were really big in the 2000s, I think, more than they were. Or maybe, maybe they were, and I don't remember, but uh, I remember the, the hearing them a lot in the 2000s. Uh, well, there they are, the, all their greatest hits. <laughs> Uh, very catchy music. Uh, band's all right, I suppose. Um, been a while since I've listened to them, and uh, I really don't have much of attachment to this either, so I think we're going to put that in the old bin there. Excuse me, let me adjust my microphone. All right. ACDC Ball Breaker. All right, now we're getting into the good stuff. So this has uh, uh, Cover You in Oil, Heart as a Rock, uh, Boogeyman, Honey, uh, blah, 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 blah. Love Bomb Caught With Your Pants Down. Uh, Alright, well, I, I do love ACDC. Um, unfortunately, none of the songs of theirs I really like are on here. So, yeah, uh, as much as I hate to do this, I think that's going to go in the box. Uh, here we go. Okay, now we're getting into some real good stuff. A Perfect Circle. This band is really cool. It's the lead singer of Tool, Maynard James Keenan. This was his side side project. Really great album. Love the music. Um, it's a great band. Uh, it, it gets brought up every once in a while. Uh, Perfect Circle. This is their second album. This has... Uh, sorry, Crying There's... Uh, uh, um, some of their, some of their songs. I think I, I more remember the first album than the second album. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe that one. All right. So next we have Aerosmith. Big ones. What's on this album here? We have a uh, sumo wrestler. Nice. Uh, Love in an elevator. Ragdoll. Dude looks like a. Okay. These, this is Janie's got. Okay. This has all like the good. Uh, Oh, wait, is this a, I think this might be, is this a best of album? I think this might be a big one. Yeah, I have, I think this is a best of album. <laughs> All right, well, fair enough. Um, there you go. I'll, I'll put that, um, maybe that one. Aerosmith, Get a Grip. This has, what does this have on it? Uh, fever, Living living on the Edge, Walking Down Shows, Crying, Gotta Love It Crazy, Oh, yeah, this was when they started to get a little um, homogenous with their music. Um, yeah, the best of, I'll, I'll maybe, this one, I think I'll, I'll pass on that one. Just Push Play, oh boy. This, I think, was kind of a divisive album. <laughs> Not a lot of people really liked this era of Aerosmith. I thought they were okay. Um, I do like the, uh, the cover art there. Don't really know why i like it so much um see it's got uh jaded just push play fly away from here the music video for fly away from here is weird um and 
I'm gonna, eh, I'm gonna maybe that one. All right, here we go. Alice in Chains, Jar of Flies. Ooh, I love, I loved Alice in Chains. Got I Stay Away, No Excuses. Oh yeah, so good. I don't know what to say about Alice in Chains other than I love them. So I think that that one's gonna stay. Uh, there we go. We have uh, Facelift, which has some of my favorite Alice in Chains songs on there. They got Man in the Box, Sea of Sorrow. Uh, yeah, really cool. That one I think is going to stay. So we have next Alien Ant Farm. Alien Ant Farm I think is another one of those really di uh, divisive bands. Uh, they had that, I think the best thing they ever did was probably the cover of uh, Smooth Criminal which uh, really got them a lot of popularity. Although, honestly, I, th I liked movies. It's a, that was a really cool song. I don't know why people don't talk about that. I love the music video for that, too, also. Um, the second one had some hits as well. Uh, do I like them enough to want to keep these, though? Uh, I don't want to like just keep one either. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna maybe these. I'll I'll see about it. Andrew WK. Oh God, you gotta love that cover art. I remember when I first bought this, they actually covered that up with a big sticker. Uh, and I'm I'm wondering now if if YouTube is gonna flag this video because of that. But party hard. Party, it's time to party, party hard, da, 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 all songs about partying. Hey, do you know any other more upbeat songs about partying? <laughs> it's from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Uh, I, uh, it's going to go in the box. <laughs> okay, now, Arm Cannon. These guys are awesome. They are uh, a rock band that covers a lot of video game music. I saw them live twice for free. I would have gladly paid to see them. That's how good they are. So these are their first two albums. Um, that doesn't have anything on the back. The second album, though, uh, let's see here. We got. Uh, oh yeah, they. What's weird is they take all their songs and they like mix up the like the title, but they tell you what it is over here. So you, they do like the Power Rangers theme. Super Mario, Mega Man, uh, they did Hulk Hogan and Shawn Michaels seems really cool. Rygar, Contra, Kid Icarus, blah, blah, blah. They did a lot of really, let me, let me open this one up. I want to read the, ah, uh, there it is. Okay. Track list. So, uh, Cranial Siphon, I believe that's Metroid, uh, Super Cranial and uh, uh, Borrowed Mega Nuke, that's, um, that's another Mega Man. Bigger Boards, that is the battle th battle theme from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, Dutch Town, that is uh, the, the game Touchdown. It's really cool. Dozen Elf Death Gel, that G, I wonder what that is. That's probably Zelda. These guys are great. I actually have their third album, but I only have it digitally. I've been meaning to get it physically, but uh, I've been busy with stuff. I keep forgetting about it. So... I really like these. I highly recommend you look up their music. They're awesome. Those are going to stay. Art Beat. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> uh, oh, I, uh, I dropped it. Well, it's broken forever now. Uh, I believe this is a K-pop or a K-rock band. Um, I think someone handed this out at a convention I was at. And I totally forgot about it. Uh, all right, well, fair enough. I'm sure they're fine, but they're going in the box. Audio Slave. So this was during the era when bands were doing, um, like, super groups. Like you had, this was Chris Cornell the, as the singer, the singer of Soundgarden, with the, the rest of the band from uh, Rage Against the Machine. I really like this. I think a lot of people didn't, but I actually really like this um, collab. Uh, there was another one, which uh, I think we'll get to, but not till we get to all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, I really like this, so I think I'm going to hold on to this. Uh, here we go. Beck, Odelay. 
Um, Beck is a very strange, strange man, and he has some very strange songs. Um, you got Odele, uh, New Pollution, there's a whole bunch of weird, weird stuff on here, and weird, weird cover art. Uh, I really like Beck, um, but I don't know if I want to... Uh, and this is like a random album too. Like what am like what am I doing with this? <laughs> Beck is great though. Uh, next we have Bon Jovi. This left feels right. How do you like that for a title? Uh, we have Wanted Dead or Alive, Living on a Prayer, My Life. Oh, we got all the good stuff on here. Keep the faith. I'll be here for you always. Oh man. Okay. This isn't another best of album, is it? Is this a is this a best of album? I don't think so. I, I uh, my knowledge of albums, admittedly, is a little uh, little dry. Um, hmm. Do I want to keep this? I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. Billy Idol, Vital Idol. I think this is another best of album. Uh, White Wedding, Money Money, Hot in the City. Dancing with Myself, Flesh for Fantasy, To Be a Lover, Love Calling, Catch My Fall. Is this, uh, I'm not sure if this is a best of album. Uh, it sounds like it is, but uh, Billy Idol's great. Um, some good stuff on here. I have another Billy, Billy Idol album right here. Maybe, uh, let's see, Charmed Life. What does this have on it? Oh, it's got, somebody put a, huh, eight, what was that, 81890. Wow. That's been on there for a long time. I, clearly, I got this at a thrift store. Uh, Loveless, Dumb Steel, the L.A. Woman, Trouble with the Sweet Stuff, Cradle of Love, Mark of Cain, Endless Sleep, Love Unchained, or The Right Way, License to Thrill. And there he is, sitting upon his throne of awesome rock godness. And there he is right there with his signature. <laughs> he always has the best faces. <laughs> all right um i'm gonna i think i'm gonna hold on to the billy idol stuff i like billy idol all right so this oh no oh no <laughs> uh, it's evanescence mm. we were just discussing this band when i uh when i was looking at the uh the daredevil soundtrack i believe there it is, Bring Me to Life, the song that I hated for a while because they wouldn't stop playing it on the frickin' radio. Uh, it's not a bad song, I was just kind of sick of it. Um, I think uh, Evanescence is alright in their own, you know, way. Uh, Amy Lee has a phenomenal voice, but, um, yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> That's gonna go in the pile. Next up, we have Billy Joel, River of Dreams. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize I had this. This was um, a later Billy Joel album. Uh, it had the, uh, yeah, the River of Dreams was uh, like a big hit for a while. Um, not one of his best albums, but I absolutely love Billy Joel. So I'm going to hold on to that. I think I have another. There we go. Now we're getting to the good stuff. The Stranger. Yeah. I love, uh, I, I used to listen to Billy Joel all the time as a kid. Yes, believe it or not. Um, let's see, uh, it doesn't have a track list. I'm not going to open this up. But uh, yeah, it's The Stranger. I used to listen to Billy Joel a lot, which is, and I didn't really get into music until like late into like high school. But I did, like, this is like the one artist that I really grew attached to in my earlier years. And it's uh, admittedly kind of an odd thing for like a 10-year-old to be listening to. But um, he was great. I mean, uh, he's from New York. I was living in New York at the time. He sung about New York a lot. And I don't know, something about his music really, uh, really spoke to me. So Billy Joel gets to stay. I wouldn't mind finding uh, more of his albums out in the wild. Bullet for my Valentine. Okay, so... Uh, before we continue on, I should mention you're probably going to be seeing a couple of things in here that are a bit odd. Um, the reason for that was, uh, there's a little story behind this, so bear with me here. Uh, when I was going to school for graphic design, we had a project where we had to make a calendar, a 12-month calendar uh, with a cover and a back. 
and we had to come up with like a theme for it. And the theme I came up with was, uh, it, it was a, like a, like a promotional, uh, calendar for like a record store or a, a music store. And the idea I had was I was going to take uh, a band or an album and I would tie them in with a month and use that album art for that month of the calendar. This was for uh, February. And the reason why I have this is because uh, this was a long time ago. And it was, at the time, hard to find really good, high-quality scans of album art. So my solution to this was to track down the albums and scan the inserts myself. Uh, it cost a little bit of money, but uh, the teacher liked the project, from what I remember. So I guess it was worth it. Uh, Bullet for my Valentine was for February, which is, you know, Valentine's Day. Fa Bullet for my Valentine. And some some of them were a bit of a stretch. Others were maybe a little too obvious. But, um, yeah. Uh, I have no attachment to Bullet to my Valentine. Other. I do like the, the album art there. That's very nice. Uh, but I'm going to put that in the box. Okay, we have a, a big... Oh, here we got the Beatles. 1967 to 1970 Beatles. Oh boy. Oh, we got some good stuff on it. Strawberry Fields, Penny Lane, Sergeant Pepper, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds with a little help. Uh yeah, all all the big hits from that era of the Beatles. Very nice in this big very big uh two two disc collection here. Cool. I think that one's going to stay cuz it it is the Beatles and we got more Beatles coming up. So this, here we go is the White Album. So good. We got a lot of good stuff here. Uh, back in the USSR. Uh, oh, blah, dee, oh, blah, da, life goes on. Uh, all the, the good stuff. Yeah, Beatles. What what can you say about the Beatles? They're, they're the Beatles. They sure are. And Yellow Submarine. Of course, you got to have Yellow Submarine. Like, we all live in a Yellow Submarine. All together now. All, all right, I'm going to get copyright struck. No, I won't because my singing is terrible. All right, moving along. Beatles are staying. Bush. I have Bush. Um, Bush was an all right band, too. Uh, they had uh, Mouth. Uh, Mouth, I remember that. That was on the soundtrack to... What was that movie? American Werewolf in Paris or something? One of those movies, American Werewolf. Some, someone, a, a werewolf somewhere. <laughs> Uh, they're all right. I don't really have a huge attachment to Bush. If I ever want to, you know, this is one of another one of those bands where it's like, if I'm, I'm craving their songs for whatever reason, I'll just look it up on YouTube. So Bush goes in the box cave. Okay. Here's another interesting one. So cave, I believe is a local band to South Florida. I think they're out of West Palm beach. Um, I've never listened to a lot of their stuff. I know they played them on the radio occasionally, but um, the uh, the thing is, I got this CD for free because a while ago I was working at a, a place where apparently one of the guys that worked there knew the band or something like that, and he was handing out uh, copies of the discs to everyone in the office. So I got one, and that's why I have this. Um, I should maybe look them up again sometime, see, see how, uh, see if they were any good. Um, but I really have no desire to keep the CD. So in the box with you counting crows. Oh my goodness. August and everything after mm. August is my birthday. Let's see, we have, uh, Mrs. Jones, uh, and a bunch of other songs. Yep. Counting crows. Counting crows is great. Um, but again, I don't have a huge attachment to them. So I think we're going to go ahead and put them in the box. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is how I feel after pulling something like this out of my collection. Creed, my own prison. I think I got this during like my edgy rebellious days. Uh, torn, owed, my own prison, pity for a dime. In America, illusion, unforgiven, sister, what's this life for? And one. Yep, it's Creed. Uh, I think the lead singer of Creed, you know, he's a good singer, but, 
uh, I don't really care for the music, so it's going to go in the, in the thing. The Cult, Beyond Good and Evil. Ah, Beyond Good and Evil. That's one of my favorite video games. I, uh, I actually really like this album. Um, where, was the, where was the one song? Rise. That one's a real banger right there. Um, the rest of these, I guess, are all right. The, the Cult has, I think, more famous hits, but uh, I think uh, Rise was the one that really like got me into them. Um, do I want to keep this though? Uh, it's got a crack. Mm, that doesn't uh, that doesn't uh, look good for this. Uh, you know, I'm gonna put them on the maybe pile. What do we have here? Cindy Lauper. Oh, oh, I remember. I found these. At, where's the other one? Yeah, I found like Cindy Lauper albums at a at a thrift store one day and I'll, oh i think maybe these came from the same person who wrote on that other album 51490 uh 514 wow why why would you put the date on there um i hope that wasn't the price jeez so we have um girls just want to have fun and uh shebop and all the good uh, all the good Cindy Lauper stuff there we go. Yeah. You know what? I'm not ashamed to admit I like Cindy Lauper. That's staying. Danzig, motherfucker. <laughs> um, Danzig. This... Oh, this was part of the calendar. Because he has that song Mother. And I... I, <laughs> I used this album art for May, for Mother's Day. Because, uh, uh, yeah, there it is. Mother, tell your children not to walk my way. Oh man, I love that album art too. You know what? I'm keeping that. <laughs> oh, uh oh, oh, Def Leppard, Euphoria, cool. Uh, Demolition Man, Promises, Back in Your Face, Goodbye All Night, Paper Sun, It's the Only, 21st Century, Sha La La Girl, To Be Alive. Uh, just, uh, uh, not some of their more well known stuff, I don't think. Uh, do I have another one of them? Nope, I only have one Def Leppard album. Hmm. I do love Def Leppard. They're kind of a, they they are certainly a guilty pleasure of mine. But yeah, again, if I'm craving Def Leppard, I'll look it up on YouTube. Death Clock. Oh, Metalocalypse is awesome. Uh, this was the first Death Clock album. Um, yeah, it's got all the great hit. We got uh, Go Into the Water. I love love that. Freaking love that. I think that's going to stay for sure. Oh no. Disturbed. Uh, we believe, uh, this has prayer, which I kind of liked. Um, yeah. Disturbed. Disturbed is okay. They have a, they have a lot of energy to their songs. And I think they're great. Um, 10,000 fists. I like, I like the song 10,000 fists. Very appropriate for, uh, what's going on right now. Um, not to date this video or anything. Uh, uh, do I want to keep disturbed? I don't know. I haven't really had the urge to, to look up their stuff in a while. So, eh. all right, I'm indecisive. I'm going to put them on the maybe pile. Let's see, see about that later. We have uh, Duran Duran. Ah, nice. We have on this album, uh, Earth Hungry Like the Wolf. We have all their songs here in a big run-on sentence. <laughs> uh, Duran Duran's cool. Um, not a big fan of this album art. It's all messy, but uh, whatever. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to Duran Duran. Dragon Force. The only thing harder than diamonds. Oh man, Dragon Force. These guys are nuts, man. Uh, Fury of the Storm. My spirit will go on. Fields of Despair. Dawn of a New World. I actually really like Dawn of a New World. It's a very, very medieval, like hard rock stuff. If you've never listened to their things, uh, they're kind of a meme too, because they were like really big in the in the two thousands. Um, yeah, I'll hold on to that one. I think I have. Do I have another one of theirs? Yep, I do. Another Dragon Force album. <laughs> There's through the fire and the flames. 
uh uh operation ground and pound is another really good one all right dragon force i think i'll hold on to for now all right so let's go to shelf number three and check out the overstock stuff green day dookie uh never really liked green day but i've grown to love them over the years um i have a had a cousin who was obsessed with this band but uh never and never got into it until much much later so uh yeah, there you go. You got Basket Case and a bunch of Welcome to Paradise and a bunch of other really, uh, really cool songs. Um, I think I'm going to hold on to Green Day. It's out of place, but I'll fix it later. Eve 6. Ah, let's see how much long. Inside Out. There's there's their big uh, hit right there that people love. Um, Jesus, uh, where's the... Uh, they had another song. It's, I, I guess it's not on this album. Yeah, I guess it's not on this album. Um, it's called Here's to the Night, and I really like that one. Uh, but do I want to keep Eve 6? Mm, eh, maybe, pile. Oh, here we go. Everlast. That's uh, one of the guys... Oh, shoot. That's one of the guys from uh, House of Pain who brought us Jump Around. Um, he had a solo career for a little while, and... He did pretty well for himself. Um, yeah, I guess I liked him for a while. Hmm. Really cool. Um, I recommend looking up his solo stuff. It was pretty good. But uh, I think <clears throat> I think the honeymoon period has ended. Uh, Eminem. Here we go. The uh, Marshall Mathers. The Marshall Mathers LP. Uh, I had a. I really liked Eminem. I have a lot of respect for him as an artist. Um, I, I like Stan. Stan was a great song. If you even call it a song, though, it's more of a, I don't know, it's more of a short story, really, than a song. But uh, Eminem's usually, like, he's he's got, like, two modes. It's, like, serious or just completely off-the-wall goofy. <laughs> and I kind of, I kind of um, respect him for that. Uh, but I don't really see myself holding on to that. So... <clears throat> That's going to go. Hey, there's Eve 6 again. I guess, the, is this the one with... Uh, uh, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, there it is right there. Here's to the Night. I really like that one. Uh, I like the cover art for this as well. So, uh, I guess I'll put that in the maybe pile with the other one. Filter. Mm, filter. That's, uh, let's see, what, uh, what songs were on this album? Title of Record. <laughs> I love, uh, I love when artists get kind of weird with their with their stuff uh oh god this paper is like the cheapest stuff ever oh it's all upside down uh sound welcome to the fold uh it's gonna kill me the best things take a picture i like i really like take a picture welcome to the fold is really good too um but they had that one song uh hey man nice shot which uh was played a lot in the 90s and i believe it was even on an episode of beavis and butthead uh, okay, but do I want to keep, do I want to keep filter? Do I love filter enough to, eh, eh, you can put it in the box. Next up, we have Flogging Molly. This was another one for, um, for <laughs> this was another one for the calendar. Uh, Flogging Molly is an Irish band, and I, I use them, I think, uh, it's March, right? March is st patrick's day yeah i use them for march <laughs> for st patrick's day great band um drunken lullabies is great uh they have a great christmas song uh what, what was the title of it christmas where i come from you got to look that up look up the the music video for it too it's amazing um flogging molly is a, a fine fine band uh they have a very specific sound very upbeat very loud very fast and it's got that sort of irish flair to it um, uh, but I, yeah, I don't really see myself holding on to that. So that's going to go in the box. Foo Fighters one by one. Uh, this was their, uh, all my, uh, yeah, all my life is on there. Low is on there. Times like these got some good stuff. Love the Foo Fighters, big, big Foo Fighters fan. So I think I'm going to keep that, uh, Fozzie. Oh my God. And it's autographed. <laughs> so we were talking about Chris Jericho. Uh, a little while ago um fozzy is chris jericho's band 
and I actually met him, and he autographed this copy of Fozzie for me. So I think I think by default that means I have to keep it, <laughs> unless another Rob out there really wants this. If you do, get in touch. <clears throat> Fuel, natural selection, fuel, and I used to get fuel and filter confused a lot. They're they're two very different bands, but they have very similar names. Uh, Downside of Millions, fall on falls on me. That's a really good song. Uh, most of all, getting into yeah, um, fuel feels all right, I guess. Um, really, not, again, really cool cover art, but I think that can go in the box. Boy, we're getting through a lot of these. Genesis, turn it on again. Oh boy, turn it on again. Invisible touch, mama, land of confusion. I can't dance. Follow you, follow me. Hold on to my heart. Abacaba, <laughs> abacab, or whatever. Uh, oh man, tonight, tonight, tonight. Uh, Genesis, I do really like this. I do like Genesis. I think I'm gonna hold on to that for now. Uh, even if I say I'm going to hold on to something, I'm probably not. Uh, I'm going to reevaluate everything like when we're done here. Probably off camera, but we'll see. Godsmack. I'm not ashamed to admit that I did love Godsmack. Loved Awake. Um, what was it for? Uh, what was the other one they had? Uh, was it Spiral? No, it wasn't Spiral. Um, yeah, I think I have another, another album of theirs right there. Yep. Uh, the, oh, the other side. Okay. This was really cool. This was like an acoustic album. Very, very different from what they had done previously. It was more, more mellow, more calm, more profound. Whereas a lot of other stuff they did was, uh, very loud. I mean, just listen to Awake and you'll understand. Um, although they, did they have a, uh, oh no, I was going to say, they have a, a song called Asleep, which I believe is supposed to be like a sequel to Awake. Um, eh, I do like Godsmack, but i eh, put them in the maybe pile. <clears throat> Moving along. Oh, there's another Godsmack album. <laughs> Straight Out of Line. I, I like that one. Straight Out of Line. Uh, okay. In the... Oh, oh, there's there's another song I like, Serenity. I recommend that one. Okay, is this another Godsmack album? It is not. It is the Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> Dizzy Up the Girl. This has, why don't you slide? Put your arms around me. What you feel is what you are. I, I can't believe I know the words of that song. Uh, they also have Iris on here. And I don't want the world to see me. <laughs> I think I know these songs because they were played constantly on the radio back when radio was a thing. Uh, yeah, I think that one can go. <laughs> um, we have the Gorillas now. Uh, the Gorillas. Oh, hey, there's Green Day. Uh, the Gorillas, I think, are going to stay just because it is the Gorillas. There's uh, the first album and there's Demon Days. So Gorillas get to stay. Garbage version 2.0. Oh boy, we finally upgraded. Uh, Temptation Waits. I think uh, when I grow up, I think I'm paranoid. That was a good one. Push it. Uh, I think that was like the first song I, I uh, heard of theirs, and I really liked it. Again, another weird music video, but that was you know, that was the 90s in a nutshell. Um, Garbage is pretty good, but uh, I think that one's gonna go. Uh, I would put up a disclaimer and say. You know, just because I'm getting rid of a CD doesn't mean I dislike any of the things I'm getting rid of. Just, you know, FYI. Okay, we got we got a lot of Green Day here. We got a lot of Green Day. I think, do I have, like, all of their albums? Jeez. I think most of these I found, like, from... Okay, that one I know I, I've, I had when it came out. Uh, this one I know I had when it came out. I think the rest of them are, like, just stuff I found at thrift stores. Insomniac. Uh, hmm. Well, I, I think I'm going to hold on to those for now. Guns and Roses. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. Uh, we got... Uh, there's... Uh, 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 live and let die. Live and let die. Perfect crime. You wait the back. Uh, these were... This was also part of the, the calendar experiment, but... Uh, the calendar project, rather. 
but I don't remember what. Oh, November rain. <laughs> it was for November <laughs> because of November rain. <laughs> oh man. Well, uh, there it is. I like Guns N' Roses. I think I'm gonna keep that. And we got another Guns N' Roses here. Appetite for Destruction. Oh boy. Got uh, Night Train with uh, Paradise. There's Paradise City. Sweet Child of Mine. One of the best guitar riffs of all time. Fun fact, apparently that, that thing Slash did, like at the beginning of uh, Sweet Child of Mine, uh, that was him just warming up. Like, like playing the guitar and warming up a bit. And uh, they were like, hey, that's pretty cool. You should put that in a song. Slash is such an amazing guitarist that him warming up is a friggin' legendary guitar riff. I mean, what else can you say? Uh, yeah, I guess that'll stay as well. All right, we're, um, well, we're not really halfway through, but uh, I do need to uh, readjust myself here. So I'm going to cut away again, and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back once again, and we're going to look through the rest of these shelves. So let's get on with it. Skid Row. I love Skid Row. Uh, they have, uh, where's, uh, Youth Gone Wild. I love that one. Um, this was actually a recent find. So, uh, uh, it was recent. It's kind of harder to get rid of, isn't it? Um, I'm going to just put that down as a maybe. Uh, next up, we have... Oh, it's sticky for some reason. Blind Melon. This is one of my... Uh, that, that's that's why it was sticky. Uh, Blind Melon is one of my favorite one-hit wonders of all time. There it is. No Rain. Absolutely love that song. So, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just keep that one. I'll put it there. I'll integrate it later. All right. Moving along here. Oh, my goodness. Um, higher Education. Uh, so... This is actually my cousin's, now husband's band. Uh, and he gave me a CD. Cool. Oh, um, I guess I, I'm obligated to keep this. Uh, so, yeah, uh, check them out. Higher Education with the uh, cool robot mascots. Really nice. I will put this over here. So now we have Hoobastank. Hoobastank has... Uh, uh, they're kind of a, oh god there's dust let's see that, that that's why i'm getting rid of these i don't even use these anymore um hoobastank is one of those bands it's like yeah they were kind of derivative of a lot of bands at their time they have that song uh where focus please crawling in the dark that was their big hit um not a huge uh not a huge fan despite having several of their <laughs> albums um yeah i'm not gonna probably hold on to those this one however i'm not sure about uh this was like a it's like a target exclusive like preview album or something like that i don't know like i couldn't really find this anywhere so uh these two albums i think are gonna go i'm gonna hold on to this one just in case it has like a it's like rare and has some kind of value to it so there you go in the box incubus uh, another Again, kind of a weird alternative band um, that were, you know, they were big back then. Uh, I, I do like the, the song Stellar. It's really good. Drive is really good as well. Uh, Battlestar Skrelectica. <laughs> that was like a uh, like an instrumental. I remember listening to that. Uh, and Pardon Me. Yes, that was our other hit. Um, eh, they, they're, they're all right, but again... I don't see myself holding on to them. I have apparently other albums of theirs here. Uh, Incubus. The Crow Left of the Murder. Oh, oh yes, I remember the... Oh, it's upside down. I hate when they they, like, they think they're being cute and doing stuff like this. Um, unless that's just a mistake. Is that is that just a mistake or is that... Just, I don't know, maybe it was... Whatever, it's upside down. Uh, Megalomaniac, that's a really good song. Um very appropriate once again considering recent events um yeah uh, unfortunately i don't think i'm gonna end up keeping some of these uh incubus morning view which one has this what, what, what was on this one uh circles nice to know you wish you were here uh, yeah the, the, the pretty good songs honestly warning uh they played that one a lot that, that was like a big hit 
Uh, I do like the uh, little cover they got for this one. Very nice, nice little touch, but probably gonna go <clears throat> Jet, Get Born. They had like one song that, uh, Are You Gonna Be My Girl? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> that was it, and for some reason I bought the album for it. Uh, yeah, you can go. <clears throat> Jimmy Eat World, covered in friggin', oh God, friggin' dust, I'm gonna be sneezing now. Uh, Jimmy Eat World, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of these bands, like, at that time were kind of the same, honestly, um, what was the, what was the, A Praise Chorus was one of their, uh, The Middle, I think that, that was what their, like, their biggest hit, um, eh, yeah, that, that can go as well, let me just adjust my mic here again, uh, another Journey, okay, Journey's Greatest Hits, all right, so we got, uh, only the young don't stop believing wheel in the sky faithfully i'll be all right without you any way you want it that's the way you need uh who's crying out separate ways all right i think that's a that's a definite keeper right there so put that right there kid rock all right uh kiss oh psycho circus i actually really like this album I love the cover art for it. I am a big Kiss fan. I love Kiss. Uh, this is... Uh, it's not an album they talk about a lot. It's one of those things where, like, the, the artist... The artists do some some kind of album, and uh, then it, it gets big for a while, then everyone just goes back to their, their hits, you know, their, their regular hits. Uh, Kiss, Double Platinum. Uh, Strutter, Do You Love Me, Hard Luck Woman. Uh, the thing about Kiss, and I was just having a discussion... Uh, with a friend about this who feels the same way about queen they they have so many hits and yet when you listen to them on the radio well, even like now or even back then when you listen to them on the radio they only play like one or two of their songs in the case of kiss it's like they only play rock and roll all night and uh that's it you never hear detroit rock city you never hear black diamond you never hear strutter you never hear any of these other really good songs um let's see deuce is really good love gun god of thunder so like all these songs just don't don't ever get any radio play and it pisses me off kiss alive uh i think was this a this might have been like a casablanca record this might have been a live album um i'm gonna have to double check on this one uh i don't really like live albums Cause just I just don't really like them. They, they don't make me feel immersed. I just want to hear the, I want to hear the songs, not not people yelling and and them pausing in between. Um, this one is uh, Carnival of Souls. This was uh, kind of an in between album and uh, Master and Slave. That was their their big song off of that. Um, it's kind of one of their more forgotten albums, but uh, it's Kiss, so I'm gonna keep it. Uh, what is this? Oh, the Untouchables. Oh, it's corn. <laughs> totally blanked on that for a second. Limited edition bonus here to stay exclusive remix director's cut video. Free subscription to the corn camp at corn.com until 9:15. Oh my god. So much good. So so we're so spoiled corn. Uh, here to stay, uh, yeah, some corn, you know, it's, it's corn, you, you hear, corn uh, is, you know, a great, uh, band, but, you know, you hear some of their music, you've heard it all, uh, Falling Away From Me was really good, this was, um, I think the song that came, uh, they played in that episode of South Park, where they were, they were guest stars, it was one of my favorite episodes, actually, <laughs> uh, I have a lot of their, their albums, Follow the Leader, uh, I remember listening to this a lot. Um, God, the dust. Um, so this album was kind of weird because you notice uh, it starts on track 13. The first 12 tracks on this CD are blank. I, I don't know why they did that. It's kind of annoying. And uh, I wish they didn't do that. So, yeah. Um but uh, good, still a good album. Uh, Korn's Greatest Hits Volume 1. 
Got a lot of their stuff on it. Word Up. I like their their version of Word Up. Uh, another Brick in the Wall. Uh, yeah, they didn't... Uh, mm, not that one, though. Uh, right, uh, did my time. A lot I break here to stay. Trash. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, Corn's Greatest Hits. Um, I guess I'm going to hold on to those because I have a lot of them. Lenny Kravitz, from number five, which does not have the track list on the back. That has always been a peeve of mine. Um, he wears, oh, things are falling out. Oh, no. Oh, no, things are falling out. <laughs> this is like a, uh, all right, well, we're not going to, we're not going to bother with this if it's going to be this complicated. Th thanks for picking up this release. If you'd like more info on Lenny Kravitz, Releases and tour dates, go to virginrecords.com slash mail.html. What the hell? Sign up for our mailing list. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a record. It's a, a relic, rather. It's a, re it's a relic of a record. Let me put this back together, and then I'm going to go ahead and... Eh. The struggle. The, str the eternal struggle of owning a CD. There we go. Okay. All right, Lenny Kravitz. Oh, there's there's the friggin' track list. Jeez. Um, what was on here? Live, so uh, I belong to you. Thinking of you. Fly, fly Away. Okay, yeah, there we go. This was the album with Fly Away on it. Um, Lenny Kravitz is really cool, but uh, I think I'm going to put that over there. Less Than Jake. This was, again, another band of the time that uh this is kind of interesting they have like they're like little mini album covers for their songs wow that's pretty neat um uh welcome to this uh which which was the song that uh science of selling yourself short yeah that was uh that was one of their hits right there um yeah don't have much of an attachment unfortunately so in the box limp biscuit <clears throat> All right, uh, Beastie Boys, Hello Nasty. I am a huge Beastie Boys fan. Love, uh, love the Beastie Boys. Inter uh, Intergalactic, that's a frigging classic right there. Um, so many good, good things on here. Yeah, Beastie Boys. Um, definitely gonna keep that one. I think, I think that was a recent uh, pickup as well too. There we go. Uh, Beastie Boys. Uh, what, what was the name of this album? Beastie Boys, a license to L, of course. Oh, man. Um, so we got uh, the new South Sea. So she's crafty. Uh, girls, fight for your right to party. Oh, God damn, I can't believe I forgot the name of license to L. Ugh. Um, one of the first CDs I ever owned was um, Root Down by the Beastie Boys. I don't have it anymore, and I'm very upset about that because it was one of my first CDs, and well. Uh, well, we're actually getting close to uh, what my one of my other first CDs was. Well, and it's still a ways down, but uh, if I still have it, I'm pretty sure I still have it. Uh, yes, I do. Okay, uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, Lincoln Park, good old good old Lincoln Park, and that early two thousands angst and anger. Um, yeah, paper cut. One step closer. Points of authority. Crawling. Uh, yeah, all all the all the classics right there. Uh, R.I.P. There, Chester. We uh, we sor sor sorely miss you. Oh uh, man, do I want to keep Lincoln Park? <sighs> they're uh, yeah, they're they're okay. I mean, Lincoln. They, they they are they are uh, of their time again, but um, I really don't see myself. Uh, oh God, there's so much dust on this one. Let me wipe that off. I don't really see myself, you know, listening to uh, there. I have to I have to decide if I'm gonna end up putting one of these CDs into a CD player at some point. So this is this is a kind of an interesting one. This is Meteora. This is like the big uh, collectors edition that i have for some reason somewhere i belong uh, 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 breaking the habit um let's see does this uh, say what's in here uh this enhanced cd contains the following content the art of meteora 
website toolkit <laughs> website toolkit what what is that <laughs> what is a website toolkit <laughs> I don't know. Um, exclusive access to web-based media. Oh my God! So cutting edge. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these in the maybe pile because I'm wondering if this might have any value to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toss those into the maybe pile. Um, live. Uh, I do like live. I think they're uh, they're a great band. They have a great sound to them. Um, let's see, selling the drama, I alone, lightning crashes. That's some good stuff on here. Um, a really cool album art too. Very weird and surreal. I like it. Uh, this one though, I really love the album art for this. Look at this. This is uh, the distance to here. Look at the friggin' intricacy on this album art. Like like all the songs are like around these designs. Let me open this up. This is this one's worth looking at. Look at the disc. This is really cool. They spent a lot of time on on the artwork for this. <laughs> I think uh, just on that principle alone, I might keep it. All right. Next up, we have. Oh boy, I don't think I can show that. Uh, this is Marilyn Manson. This is what? Which album is this? Uh, anti. Oh, this is Antichrist Superstar. So this is Marilyn Manson. Let me put my thumb there. Um, I think it's fine. Uh, see what do we got on here. It's upside down. Uh, irresponsible hate anthem. Beautiful people. Beautiful people. I had um. What was the what was the album with Sweet Dreams on it? I had that album, and it, again, it's it's gone. I don't know what happened to it. Um, yeah. Marilyn Manson once again of the time. I I respect him as an artist. Uh, from what I understand, he has some uh, opinions that are not great. So uh. I think he's going to go in the box with the others. We have Matchbox 20, yourself or someone like you. This is this have the real world, uh, 3 a.m. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. It's 3 a.m., I must be lonely. <laughs> Again, another song they played a lot on the radio. Um, uh, real world is another one as well. Um, they're, they're all right. Again, it's another derivative band of their time. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that in, in the, in the box. Ah, uh, here we go. We're going to get to Metallica now. Um, I do have to, uh, do I only, do I only have two Metallica albums? What the hell? I thought I had more than that. I'm going to get with this one first. Okay. This is Reload. This was my first Metallica album. Yeah. Uh, so I really like this album. I love Fuel. I love Memory Remains. Unforgiven 2, in my opinion, honestly, better than Unforgiven 1. That might be unpopular. This was my first Metallica album. Uh, I later found out Metallica fans hated this album <laughs> because they had drastically changed their sound. But then I found the Black Album. Oh, I love the Black Albums. This is actually my favorite of the Metallica albums because you got Enter Sandman, Sad But True, Holier Than Thou, uh, Wherever I May Roam. I love that one. Uh, of Wolf and Man is a very underrated Metallica song. Um, it can't, man, you can't even see the, the designs through the glare and the camera. Oh, man, Metallica. Love Metallica. Uh, yeah, but I... I since then understood why reload got so much hate because you know this is how they sounded and then they they tried to adapt for the 90s and um i guess a lot of people didn't really take well to that but uh you know uh well i think we can all agree that uh you know reload is not that bad compared to saint anger which i think everyone agrees is terrible all right what is this modest mouse ah yes float on um Really love the love the minimalist album artwork for this one as well. Uh, yeah, great song. I um, th again don't have a huge attachment to Modest Mouse, so I think we're gonna put that in the box. Mudvayne, another one you can't see the designs. There, there you go. Mudvayne. This is that loud, trying a little too hard to be Slipknot band. Um, 
Yeah, uh, Not Falling was their big hit at the time. Uh, hmm. Uh, I have I have another album of theirs as well. Not not a huge attachment to this band either. Um, what was their other song? Uh, boy, this uh, this uh, this uh, back artwork is very very misleading, isn't it? Uh, yeah. All right. I, I don't have a huge attachment to modest uh, modest mouth I, I don't have attachment to them either but uh sorry i had to cut there for a second uh yeah i don't have a huge attachment to that so those are going to go in the box nirvana never mind the quintessential nirvana album smells like teen spirit come as you are lithium all these great hits so, yeah can't can't uh you know, don't really have much else to say about that but other than that's got to stay ninja sex party under the covers this was ninja sex party's um cover album where they did a bunch of covers of you know, take on me everybody wants to rule the world subdivisions one of my favorite rush songs uh yeah all these great hits and i pre-ordered so danny and ninja brian autographed this so there we go i remember them uh saying something like they they pre-ordered too many and they didn't have enough CDs to fill all the pre-orders, so I had to wait and and sign like wait for more discs to be made. And then they had to sign every one of them, and they were kind of losing their mind over it. But uh, yeah, that's uh, cool. That's definitely staying. Newfound Glory. Ah, yes. Uh, if you don't know Newfound Glory, they are local boys to South Florida. I believe they're from Coral Springs. I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know if you know anything about South Florida. Uh, when they hit big, they played their songs so much on the radio. They were like the pro the, the pride of South Florida rock. Um, so they were they were all, all over the place. Um, it's uh, what was their big song? Hold my hand. It's not your fault. It's on my mind. Uh, too good to be lo love and pain. Familiar landscapes when I die uh was was this not uh wait what what was their what was their big song was it not i'll figure it out and i'll probably put up a thing for it um also this is one of the um one of the the, the another album i used for that calendar newfound glory was january for new years so uh for the new year you know um yeah uh they're great. They're they're really cool guys. Apparently, they did a uh, benefit concert for the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas shooting, so that was pretty cool of them. Uh, you know, great uh, great band, but uh, really cool guys. But again, I don't have a huge attachment to them, so I think they're gonna go. Uh, what is this? The outfield. Oh my God! Uh, there it is. Your love. Josie's on a vacation far away. Come around and talk it over. <laughs> uh, this is from 85. Jeez. Is this disc actually from 85? Wow. I wonder if I got this at a... Probably picked that up at a thrift store. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maybe that one. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Bark at the Moon. Okay, so... This was yet another one from the uh, the calendar project. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne. This was for June, I think, because of the summer solstice. So it was like Bark at the Moon during the summer solstice with Ozzy Osbourne. This is actually one of my favorite um, Ozzy Osbourne albums. I love Bark at the Moon. It's one of my favorite of his songs. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to... Mm, do I, it's the only Ozzy album I have, surprisingly. So, uh... Huh. Uh, I'm going to... You know, I'm going to maybe that one. Uh, Pantera, official live. I love Pantera, but this is a live album. And I don't like live albums. Um, I do like their music, though. I like Walk. I like uh, a bunch of their other stuff as well. Um... 
Uh, they'll Planet Caravan might be their my favorite song of theirs. Unfortunately, that is a that is a cover song which I found out many years ago. Uh, yeah, Pantera's fine. Uh, I just realized this is meant to look like a bottle of Jack Daniels. Hmm. Never noticed that. But um, yeah, that can go. I would keep it if it wasn't a live album. Uh, Papa Roach. Why do I have this? Was this part of the calendar project? I don't remember. Uh, Papa Roach. Do they have uh, do they have cut my life into pieces or whatever that song was? No. Mm. All right. I don't have a huge attachment to Papa Roach, so that's gonna go in the box. Pat Benatar. Ah, loves a battlefield. Uh, all fired up. We got love with uh, the, the shadows, shadows of the night. Hit me with your best shot. Uh, Pat Benatar is great. Um, I'm going to put her in the maybe pile. I'm, starting, I'm trying to move things along a little bit because we still got two shelves to go through. God damn it. Uh, thank you for watching for this long. You're rewarded with Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. That is an absolute great album. So that is going to stay. That was also part of the uh, the calendar project. This was um, December for the winter solstice. The dark, you know, the dark side of the moon. And yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go. Um, Echoes. The pink out. Uh, oh, oh no, the dimension bell. Yeah, that, that one. Um, what? What was on this album? Great day for freedom. Take it back. Coming back live. Keep talking. Lost words. Uh, yeah, this is another another uh, Pink Floyd album. So there you go. Uh, the police. This is uh, there's Roxanne. Can't stand losing you. Message in a bottle. All the 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 good hit do de do 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 de da da da. <laughs> uh, the greatest of the police songs. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna maybe that one. All right. Next up we have there's another the uh, police. Every breath you take. Uh, there's Roxanne. Can't stand losing you. Message in. A Wait a minute. Uh, why do I have two? Wait a minute. Why are there two versions of this album? What? <laughs> is this is uh, is the singles. So maybe this has like different stuff on it. Every little thing she does is magic. Invisible sun. Um. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't understand this. Why are there two, two, two of the same album? All right, both going in the maybe pile. Power Man 5000. Ah, oh, I, I loved this album. It's so cool. It's a, a thematic album too, because it was, it was uh, designed like a, like an old time like science fiction story. It's really cool. Uh, I really like Power Man 5000. I have a, a attachment to this as well. Uh, lead singer is, I believe, Rob Zombie's younger brother. So that's very cool. Kind of a legacy band. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to that one for now. Let's see, we have Prodigy, the Fat of the Land. This has uh, Smack My Bitch Up, Breathe, Diesel Power. I actually really like Diesel Power. It's one you don't really hear of theirs. Um, really cool band, very catchy, uh, but I think I'm going to get rid of that one as well. Uh, Queens of the Stone Age, covered in dust, of course, because these have been sitting here since the Stone Age. Uh, no one knows. Uh, do I have their other album? No, I do not. Um, this was their first album? This is the one where they collaborated with Dave Grohl. I don't know if he stood on for the, the other album as well, but, uh, they, there he is. Um, got cool band. Uh, again, don't have a huge attachment to it, so in the pile. REM out of time. This has uh, losing my religion and uh, half. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Eh. Eh. REM's great. I do love REM. I have another one of their. Uh, I've, I've I have several of their albums actually. As we as the dust starts to fly out of here. <laughs> I think the dust might be a sign that I, I need to get rid of these. Um, drive trying to breathe. Everybody, everybody hurts. Sweetness so follows. Money got the... Uh, uh, yep. Uh, green with the impossible to read text. Uh, is Stan. Stan is on here. 
Stand in the place where you land. Do I want to keep REM? I'm going to maybe them. Radiohead, the Benz. Oh, man. Uh, Radiohead is an amazing band. Uh, nice stream. Uh, Bulletproof, Black Star, Skeleton. Uh, high and dry fake plastic trees. Do I have any other Radiohead bands? No, I do not. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm going to maybe... I feel like if I don't have like if I have just like one random, then I'm I'm just not gonna. I'm I'm I, it helps me decide better. Rage Against the Machine, Battle of Los Angeles, really good album. Gorilla Radio, loved that one. Uh, Sleep Now in the Fire, uh, really cool band. Uh, kind of got a resurgence recently because of reasons. Um, I'm gonna maybe that one as well. Rammstein, oh man, Rammstein, German band, very loud, very aggressive, love it. Uh, du hast is their big hit, du hast, du hast mich, or whatever it's called. Uh, fun fact, this album has two secret tracks on it. It's, um, I think Engel, the, or Angel, whatever that is, and Du hast, which translates to You Hate. Uh, both those tracks are in English on on this on secret tracks, and it's weird hearing them in English. <laughs> oh man, I lo I love Rammstein, but uh, I'm gonna maybe them for now. I'm I'm giving out a lot of maybes. I don't know why. Uh, one hot minute, uh, uh, red hot chili peppers. Okay, we're gonna have a big old red hot chili peppers party here. Oh geez, let's go ahead and go through these. Uh, I really love Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, I think I'm going to keep all this. What is this? That was my first Red Hot Chili Peppers album. Um, we have the Greatest Hits. I feel like I, if I have Greatest Hits, I could probably just get rid of a lot of stuff. Uh, Californication, really good album. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, what was the name of this one? Uh, by, oh, oh, this was By the Way. Oh, yeah, really cool. Another one. And One Hot Minute. What was on this one? Um, uh, coffee shop. Uh, uh, all right. Well, it's it's part of the collection, so I guess I have to keep it. All right. Next up, we have Real Big Fish. Uh, Real Big Fish mostly seems to be known for, like, ska covers of other songs. Because they did, like, Hungry Like the Wolf and a uh, bunch of other stuff. Um... They're all right. I don't again. I don't have an attachment to them, so they're going in the box. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, yes, this is the album. There it is, right there, folks. Never gonna give you up by Rick Astley. I found this at a Goodwill. It was at a Goodwill distribution center, actually. Um, they have a, a place where you can like go in and go through some of the bins of stuff they have and they have, you know, books and CDs and DVDs and it's all, it's all in big bins and it's unsorted. And one day I was sorting through it and I found this and I immediately took it. Well, of course I took it. I mean, what was I going to do? Leave it there? Let some pedestrian take this? No, no, this... This is a sacred artifact. This must be preserved. This must be among those who appreciate it. So, you are staying, Rick Astley. You might say, I'm never going to give it up. Rush, uh, moving pictures. So, this has Tom Sawyer. Uh, YYZ was a really good one. I remember that one from Guitar Hero. Uh, limelight, uh, vital signs. Yeah, it's Rush, so I think we uh, we gotta we gotta keep it. Santana, Supernatural. This has um, this has uh, that one on it. Uh, Love of my life, putting lights on. Smooth. There we go, featuring Rob Thomas of Matchbox Twenty again. Santana, one of the best guitarists of all time. Uh, great, great music. Uh, again, uh, I think I'm I'm willing to let this one go though. Uh, really cool album art though. 
Love that. Love the colors. Uh, we have sm oh here we go smashing pumpkins that means I can uh, it's all the way up there never mind I was gonna bring melancholy and the infinite sadness down um, so this one I think was also part of the, uh, the the calendar project smashing pumpkins was October for uh, Halloween because you know pumpkins this has bleeding orchid that's my life uh, tarantula uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah uh, not one of their more memorable albums i don't think or maybe maybe it is i don't know not for me it's not so uh yeah i i like i love smashing pumpkins so i think i'm gonna keep that all right sound garden down on the upside this was the other cd that was my first cd or my one of the first two cds i had <clears throat> it was this and root down by uh the bc boys which unfortunately like i said i don't have anymore I listen to this a lot. You have Pretty Noose, Rhinosaur, Zero Chance, Dusty, Blow Up the Outside World, Burden in My Head, Burden in My Hand, rather, Never Named, Apple Bite, uh, Never the Machine Forever, Tighter and Tighter, No Attention, Switch Opens, Overfloater, and Unkind, and Boot Camp. Ah, so good. Remember, this takes me back to like junior year in high school. Um, so what's interesting, though, is that this album was bought a very long time ago but it's kind of in the style of how they make cds now with the little cardboard flap so uh really it's interesting um this is gonna stay because it has sentimental value uh, i do have other soundgarden albums here we have uh which one is this this is super oh super unknown this has uh uh let's see let me down uh, black hole sun is on here spoon man of car okay here this this has more of their uh, bigger hits. So yeah, there you go. Soundgarden. Love Soundgarden. Sponge. This, uh, I think they qualify as a one-hit wonder, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Plowed is the one that they, they do. Plowed is that song that everyone knows, but no one knows the name of. Uh, you ever hear that song? When I wake up from dream I made up. No, I guess it's reality. Yeah, that's this. That's this song. <laughs> oh, I just realized the background is candy corn. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Uh, sponge, really cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe that. I'm gonna maybe that one. Um, this a, uh, oh, uh, oh, this is um, Stone Temple Pilots. Yeah, this is, uh, I think this is their uh, greatest hits album, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Stone Temple Pilots, thank you. Yeah, love Stone Temple Pilots. Lady, lady picture show she hides behind. That's, a, that's an underrated song of theirs, in my opinion. Um, yeah, this is clearly, a, 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 um, this is clearly a best of. So, I love Stone Temple Pilots. I think I'm going to keep that one. Um... So, uh, what, is, what the heck is this? Oh, it's more Stone Temple Pilots. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what the heck is on this? Uh, 12 Gracious Melodies? Is there a... Uh, jeez. All right, well, it's Stone Temple Pilots. I'm keeping it. Uh, more Stone Temple Pilots core. So this has Dead and Bloated, Sex Type Thing, uh, No Memory, Naked Sunday, Creep, uh peace okay all right stone temple pilots is good we're getting close to the end folks thank you for sticking with me until then sugar ray mm. this is uh yeah sugar ray they have their famous song fly featuring super cat i just want to fly um yeah uh sugar ray's all right i guess uh but i don't have a huge attachment to them so they are gonna go in the pile uh oh boy system of a down steal this album <laughs> i wonder how many people got arrested for this uh this has a bunch of other stuff uh uh eh, some of their which one was it chicken stew or was it um uh, there's a weird song on this album it was a it was like uh i think the premise was like it was like toppings on a pizza having a fight over who's the best top or something like oh shit um yeah it was it's very strange i like how it's uh on it it's like a burnt disc with a, a little thing there 
uh, System of a Down, really cool. Um, I like System of a Down. I think I'm going to keep that. Uh, Tenacious D. Oh, my God. Is this the... <laughs> Is this the Pick of Destiny soundtrack? Oh, no, it's not. It's, uh, we have... Yeah. Wonder Boy. Fuck her gently. <laughs> uh, it's, it's Tenacious D. Though I think, uh, I, think I, I gotta keep it. Next up, we have... Oh, Tool. The... Uh, sh uh, Lateralis? Yeah, Lateralis. I almost didn't know how to read that. This is a great album, and it has some great like artwork to it too look at that in fact i think if you um if you open this like it gets like it's all like on on this clear paper uh love the the way the cd is as well um great album big big fan of tool so i'm gonna keep this as soon as i get this back into its sleeve as soon as i get this back into its sleeve okay there we go okay Van Halen. We have Mean Street, Dirty Movie, Center Swing, Hear About It Later, Unchained, Push Comes to Shove, So This Is Love, uh, Saturday Afternoon in the Park, One Foot Out the Door. So this is Van Halen. Do I have any more Van Halens? I do have more Van Halens, which means that there's likely a reason why I kept it. So this has uh, In the Cradle Will Rock, Everybody Wants Some, Fools, I think this has some better uh, better stuff on it. I'm going to put Van Halen in the maybe pile. I like Van Halen, but again, I, I'm trying to reduce here. Vast. So Vast is kind of an interesting thing. Vast is one guy. It's a band of... Uh, I guess you can call him a band of one guy. And he... Well, he was popular for a while. He had that song, Free. Um... Uh, what was the other song he had? The song without a name. We will meet again. I think it was free and some other song. I think it, it, I don't remember. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting dude, I guess. Uh, but I think this one can go. Uh, we have Velvet Revolver. Okay, we were talking about this Audio Slave before. So this was Scott Weiland, the singer of stone temple pilots and the band members of guns and roses and i really liked this I, I don't know if other people liked it but i liked it um you know, for a uh, sucker train blues big machine illegal eye song spectacle fall to, fall to pieces was a really good one um yeah i i really liked velvet revolver uh so i think i'm gonna hold on to that one for now Weezer, the green... Oh, God. Dust bunnies. Weezer, the green album. <laughs> Don't let go. Photograph, hash pipe, island in the sun. Uh, yes, those were some pretty big hits. I love Weezer, but I think I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. We're getting close to the end here. Oh, the White Stripes. We have the White Stripes, both of their albums. Uh, side A. Oh, I'm reading Side A. Uh, Seven Nation Army right there. And... Uh, Fell in love with a girl, I think, is on one of these. Uh, I love the video for Fell in Love with a Girl. It's, it's all done in, like, stop-motion Lego. Um, I'm going to put them in the maybe pile. <clears throat> oh, oh, God. Go away. <laughs> White snake. <laughs> White snake. Um, still the night. Here I, here I go again. Give me all your love. This is this is love. Uh, it's White Snake. Um, I might put that in the maybe pile. Rob Zombie, Hellbilly Deluxe. I love this album. I listened to this nonstop when it came out. This is this album practically changed my life. So we're gonna put that in the in, in right back in there. Weird Al Yankovic, Running with Scissors. Do I have other Weird Al Yankovic? I do have. Straight out of, straight out, what, what was this one? Straight out of Linwood. Yes, uh, I think just by default, Weird Al has to stay. Um, this has the Saga Begins on here. Uh, love these, love these albums. Love Weird Al. Saw him live. Really cool. This album has like a weird, like, thing on it. What is this all about? Uh. 
All right, well, we're not going to mess with that right now. Weird Al stays. And we get to the end here. White Zombie. I guess I have to keep this just by out of principle. Um, here we go. Super Charger, Real Solution, Creature of the Wheel, Electric Head, Part Part 2. Ooh. Um, we're going to spend the eyes on him. More, human, more human than human. Yep. White Zombie. Got to love White Zombie. Astro Creep 2000. Cool. All right, and we have... Uh, couple of weird things down here we have killer cuts this is the soundtrack to killer instinct for the super nintendo this came with the game if i'm not mistaken in this little sleeve and hopefully the cd is not messed up that is definitely staying we have uh rage against the machine clear lane uh this is like a, a like a sample thing or singles um yeah I, I, that can go with the the other raging is uh, actually I put it in the maybe pile put it in the maybe pile okay and finally we have a little bit of a record uh, uh, relic here golden jam so this is an album of a well, compilation album I guess from golden grams the cereal <laughs> oh boy um, I don't know why I have this I ha this is one of those things where you had to like Cut the cut the UPC off and send it in with shipping. Why well, I keep dropping it? Uh, is there anything interesting on here? Uh, Eric Matthews, Matthew Sweet. That's the only I, I know who that is because he he was on the uh, Saturday Morning Greatest Hit uh, album. Edwin Collins, Dada, The Connells, Once Blue, and Blessed Union of Souls. I do not know what the hell this is. Um, it's obviously, you know, they, they put it together for a reason. I guess it was just like a way of getting certain artists' names out there or something. I don't know. Um, this may or may not have value to it, so I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to... Ah, man, I got some reorganizing to do. Uh, we've cleared out the CDs uh, pretty good. I might reevaluate these again at some point and maybe get rid of some other stuff. But uh, thank you for joining me if you've been with me this far. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm exhausted. This video was exhausting to make. I don't know if I'm getting old or what, but uh, yeah, I'm tired. Um, I'm going to... Uh, reevaluate these i'll probably reevaluate these and all the stuff that's in here is going to go to cd trader down in south florida down in uh, hollywood i believe the city is that they're in i'm not entirely sure but uh yeah um if you're in south florida look up cd trader and uh, maybe some of the stuff i donated is going to be there still because they have a lot of stuff uh, a lot of good stuff too if you're looking for like cds and dvds and games and stuff uh they're a decent place to go but uh again thank you for joining me as i recorded my cd uh, my cds for posterity while i get rid of them um yeah i'm probably going to be back with some more stuff at some point um but uh yeah this channel's not dead it's just on hiatus but uh we'll be back but uh yeah thanks for making it this far thanks for watching me go through my cd collection um and uh yeah thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and i will see you guys later i'm i'm very tired right now <laughs> see ya